Yo folks and welcome to the channel, my name is Borg, in today's video we'll be covering Mythic Heroes. This is going to be my first impressions on the game and not to mention a beginner's guide. Let's go ahead and do the first parts which I like to do is sort of unequip this character right here, go to equipment and just take everything off or you could just use the remove all button. Reason for that is because you get Zeus right out the gate at the beginning of the game so you know just go ahead and quick equip him, put this little chakram thing looking on on him and then do the little fire symbols. This will give him more damage and not to mention Zeus is just a better character. You don't want to use any of like the SRs at the beginning of the game. You want to focus on SSRs. Now Zeus isn't like a crazy busted character or anything, but he's just going to be easier to use, you know, outside of the other characters. It's just something that I want to sort of look into. And in case you guys are wondering, we do have some codes right here. So these are some of the codes that you could use. And not to mention in case you guys were wondering about tier list and stuff, just know even though it's covering like, hey, you know, Lucifer, the Gilgamesh wannabe looking dude is number one. Ideally, you don't focus on like just tier list because because you need dupes for characters. So for example, if you have a bunch of dupes for Lu Bu or if you have a bunch of dupes for Anubis, they're definitely going to perform better on the later stages because, you know, using ascensions or getting dupes will allow them to have higher levels. So this game is going to require dupes. It, I don't know if that's free to play friendly or not. In my opinion, not really. But it's just something to be aware of in case you're like, oh, I got Lucifer because you can get Lucifer for free. He's going to require a lot of dupes in order for him to actually be super useful. But that's another tip that I wanted to throw in there. But let's go ahead and input those codes really quick. So, you know, just click like your profile again. I'll show it one more time and then go here into code. And then let's go ahead and paste in the stuff that we saw in earlier. So we're just going to take these codes right here. So, for example, this is the first one. And then we'll just go line by line in between those just so you guys can sort of see what each reward is going to be bringing. So we got 800 jewels from there. And let's go ahead and so thank you very much. Let's put this one in and then we should get a couple jewels right there. 200 and then we get the this one right here i love this code because this is a fat stack of like summons right there that's going to be two multis that's going to be pretty helpful at the very beginning of the game and then we're going to go ahead and put this in here as well and that's 3,000 jewels now some of you might be wondering should i be summoning with the stuff that you got you totally can you can go into kingdom right here and then i for one am like happy to summon on this right here so just do like your free pulls just so you guys can see it we got athena she's kind of guaranteed from this summon like i get her every single time you do your first multi here and the game will essentially give you like a free multi and now we just sort of get like the srs like i said earlier i don't advise using these they have a, like a actual usage later on and do not use any of your diamonds on this one in my opinion because there's going to be a better banner appearing later and then what i'm going to do now is i'm actually going to equip my athena right here with some of these rocks because that is going to be really good for her and she's going to get ramp damage reduction pretty much taken and then we'll also level her up just a little bit because she's going to be pretty good at the early game as well coupled with the fact that you have zeus go ahead and fight and what you want to do is take out her and then put athena in and athena is going to just going to be your nice offensive tank and i just like this lineup with like zeus and athena you'll get through pretty much like chapter one very easily with this combo and then now it's going to take you through like i guess like this casino like fortune wheel sort of thing essentially it's just another way of getting free resources throughout the day and it's really nice because this is going to give you a free multi in fact this is the way you get like the one free multi that the game is supposed to give you if you're not supposed to be like using in codes and stuff and like i said earlier in case you guys are like oh can i get a different ssr unit because i got like the athena at the beginning no she is guaranteed you can't change it i've done reroll after reroll after reroll there is like legit no way to sort of like get a different character so it's going to show you how you can essentially speed this up now we got a bunch of rewards right there and if you're wondering about like ui and design i will say like there's something about this that feels a little cheap in my opinion i can't really put my finger on it it feels like the animation is a little bit clunky i'm not sure why because i've played plenty of games to sort of understand like what's you know a high quality sort of budgeted animated game i think like the animations for the characters and the summon system is really great but as far as like the nuanced details like you know in between menus or like the different overlays between characters there's something about it that doesn't feel exactly right now that we've done that we can pretty much go back i don't recommend doing more summons like i said on that banner and then we're pretty much talking about how they want us to ascend now i don't advise doing that you do not want to use like these characters eventually you unlock like the enhanced like ability and then you can use like dupe srs that you get to actually upgrade characters so i just want us to avoid that mistake in the very beginning we got some more jewels and then let's go ahead and input our name right here thank you that is the name that oh yeah i already put myself in this server so we're gonna use my more official 
cool name. Thank you very much. And then you can go here into the journal. You can collect some stuff, right? You know, just get some rewards and all that. And another thing to do, like this is very classic to like these sort of styled games. You can go into portraits right here, click on their profiles. You get like a hundred gems or whatever. It's really nice to do it in the very beginning. I don't think you get enough gems to like get like insane pulls or whatever. And let's just go ahead and run through this story. Now it's very reminiscent to AFK Arena. Like I said, all you really have to do is keep ascending, keep like leveling your characters, keep giving them like better equipment. And then, you know, you just go through the game. I love the fact that has this auto assault activated ability. So you don't even have to touch the game. It's just going to play itself and go through the stages as far as it possibly can carry you because, you know, your characters will eventually hit a wall because they're not strong enough and stuff, right? This is a quality of life that I really like. And I know like probably a lot of you are like, oh, Bork, why are you playing like an AFK arena game? Are you even playing? I mean, Princess Connect, in my opinion, is very similar to this style where you mix and match like certain heroes, except in mythic heroes, the character pool is much smaller. You know, the room for deviation on like character combos is much smaller because in Princess Connect, you have very specific roles. Yes, they have very specific roles like tanks and DPS and stuff, but some bosses make it so that, oh, you have to run a magic team or, oh, you have to run a physical team. I'm pretty sure those occurrences will like appear here, but it's just going to be a little bit like harder because you're going to need dupes for all these different characters. And obviously, I think once you get to a certain level, like once your characters get strong enough, it doesn't matter whether, you know, someone's like level one or level two. The thing that matters the most is like you have enough dupes to just overpower the enemy, whether you're stronger than them or not. It's just a matter of like, hey, do you have enough like gear and stuff to actually go through everything? Let's go ahead and jump back. Eventually you have like this world map sort of deal. You can jump between everything. There's going to be like this Halloween event that's really cool. I like it. It has like a little bit of story. There's like days to it. You just log in and you get to essentially like raise pumpkins, which I think is kind of cute. So you go to this pumpkin farm. You use the one that you got from like, I guess your daily login. There's a pumpkin contest. And I guess like you're trying to get like the biggest pumpkin or whatever. And all you have to do is I guess participate in the game and you essentially just grow pumpkins, right? You can also like fight this boss at the masquerade ball. I'm just going to wait until I'm a little bit higher level. And then let's go ahead and check our mail. So we got a hundred jewels right here. Ah, that's not too much, but let's go ahead and see. I think you have to beat like 110 before you actually unlock like the better summons. So let's go ahead and jump right here. So the marketplace is available. I don't recommend buying anything unless you can like use your tokens and stuff because you know, these jewels, you should save them for summons. Oh, I didn't see that. What's this tribute thing? Okay. Yeah, no, that's not special at all. All right. So we unlocked this feature. This is where I personally like to summon at. I think it's pretty nice and you can use like you know whether you want to summon for athena or you want to go back into here and you're like oh like i want to summon for for example izanami and some of you might be wondering like hey is there like a beginner's guide sort of deal i copied and pasted this i feel like the beginner's guide that's really good is the one on reddit right here i highly recommend checking it out it has all the different notes on like hey what should you be doing like what's the maximum like increase for heroes like maximum levels is like up to 300 you do not ascend sr units you know at 11 for you will get like iconic weapons you'll get divinity there's going to be a lot of different features that are going to be added for example lucifer is going to be great in early game but do not blindly follow tier list like we were talking about earlier raise a main carry 40 levels higher than the rest so whether it's going to be your carry tank support whatever so i guess there's going to be three units that you want to essentially use and you could do two supports one tank or the opposite as recommended where you run three supports instead of like having at least one tank it's up to you how you want to run the game but this is like i believe like really solid advice limited banner only has ssr pity on the first 10 pull until you get to the pity then you will get like the ur pulls and stuff and this is what i want to talk about the most lucifer susanu uh gm izanami oberon artemis cleopatra persephone tomamo hades athena hidden naga nua dionysus all of these characters they're like pretty much at the top like you can pull for them and i also did like sort of like a breakdown right here of like the characters that i want to personally pull for i think I think I kind of want to go for Izanami as a DPS. Then again, I kind of want a support and the support that I want is going to be Eden. So I already got like a copy of Eden in case you guys were like curious and sort of looking at that. We go ahead and jump back here and I would just prefer to just get dupes of characters. I think that's going to be the best and she's going to be like a backline healer. So the way I'm going to personally do it is I'm going to summon and I'm going to not select Athena and I'm going to go for more copies of Eden because I just want like at least one dupe of her and we already have like the best like sort of DPS on like the actual like you know main character like the UR character that we want is Lucifer Artemis is a great DPS so I'm just gonna leave it like this let's
let's see what we can summon right here can it be something good pretty please turn red please turn red i don't know what the animation is for you are i've never gotten it is this eden yo super dope right here that is exactly what we needed so that is amazing i want to get to 2-1 just so you guys can see it we'll blitz through the game a little bit and then go ahead and ascend her thank you very much yep that's what we want to do and then we're just going to level her up go ahead and just put her to like level 20 it's more than worth it and you know increments of like upgrading them in batches right so i'm not going to like push her past 20 that way everyone else can catch up and i'm going to do the same thing with eden right here or athena and i'm just going to go ahead and place her to level 20 i just like everything being equal and by the way if you get like everyone five characters and they're all evenly leveled so if i have five characters who are all like level 20 then the rest of these characters will go to level 20 but let's go ahead and jump into the campaign just so you guys can see it and then we'll just turn on auto assault during like the fights i'll put her in later honestly like this game is like relatively simple i think it's just a matter of a fact of like hey do you have like good heroes and do you have dupes and do you have like the equipment there's gonna be like labyrinths and stuff so you can easily upgrade your gear i think it's gonna show us this labyrinth section right here this is like hades hell so pretty interesting right here you can essentially jump into like this different sort of like instant space mode and i don't want to fight yet i want to use my athena or the Eden that i got i don't even know how to say that name apologies if i'm butchering it because i know like some people like pretty hardcore in the pronunciations i have no idea why sometimes i can't say things all right i apologize my tongue rolls a different way i don't know what to say all right next level thank you very much so we got the little axes there but i like this section because it's gonna, it's gonna give you equipment so i highly recommend just going in here and just tackling it obviously your main priority should be just going in here and just tackling the different stages and let's go ahead and replace water right here and put her in there i just want to get to two ones so i can share the last tip so you guys can see like why it's important not to upgrade the sr units that you get in the beginning because i know you're going to get lots of dupes for the sr units so it's going to be very tempting to raise them and make them stronger in the very beginning because you can get dupes but they're just not strong enough in the late game and if you raise the sr units and you don't raise the ssr units you're essentially putting yourself in a hole so to to speak like if you start with sr units and now you're jumping into ssr units you would have to upgrade a whole team of ssr units which would take forever where it's easier to transition between like ssr and ur if you were to ever do that but honestly ur characters are only for like mega whales and you should really just stick to like ssr units it'll just be much better off and your wallet will be much happier than you so you can see like we're just blazing through the stages like if your characters are leveled up like i keep covering they're not going to have any issues whatsoever and i I love how fast you go through this game it knows that people are playing this for a quick easy experience and this game definitely delivers on the fact that you know the game plays itself to a certain optimal degree but at the same time it's also fun to watch because a lot of the things like afk arena does right is having pretty decent animations and cool characters to essentially look at and this game definitely nails that forefront and it's like those really small but simple things that can really go far as far as like hey is this afk arena style game good it's enough quality of life where we have two times speed right out the gate once we get to a certain stage we unlock three times speed i don't know if we can actually beat this dark zeus right here let's see if our normal zeus can do it i think it's mostly because we haven't upgraded them past level 20 so it might be a little bit difficult i think we lose here so let's go ahead and quit and jump back and upgrade our characters just by a bit i actually like to work on my dps first zeus is not going to be like you know your dps carry forever but i feel like he's fun to use i guess we like get 500 dust from that there's gonna be like another like sort of dungeon that you can unlock to get more dust later on in the game as well in case you guys are curious i don't know if it's like advised to actually use like your stuff like the, the way i just did but you know what i just did it why not okay um and then she's leveled up i probably should have leveled zeus a little bit more go ahead and jump back in here and try to beat dark zeus i just want to get to 2-1 so long as she's providing heals everyone's going to stay alive this is the tactic as to why you would use like supports more often you can sort of act like a tank to this so we beat this stage right here i don't want to go to the next stage and we do like this campaign thing so we get another multi we'll do like one more summons before we leave i think now we unlock the feature yeah enhance so this is the whole reason as to why i don't want us to use like these sr heroes so you can actually use them to enhance your other characters so i'm not actually going to enhance zeus i'm going to enhance eden right here or Iden. i don't know how to say her name i can only use one so i guess it's something to look into where like certain characters can only be used like certain sr units and i'll just enhance zeus because i just like him better and what's really interesting is zeus takes up like the same enhancement slots as athena 
So it might be something to look into in case you're like, oh, I have too many of like these luminance characters. And if you're wondering how I know what like these units are called, just jump in here. There's Luminarch and then there's like these different factions, I guess. And, you know, it's sort of like your, I guess, elemental tree in some ways in, in case you want to look at that. But that's the things that I really want to cover. Don't upgrade these SR units. I think it's a mistake early on that's so easy to do. You can get attached to them and you're not supposed to use them. But, you know, there's going to be like arena modes and everything. There's so many different like aspects to the game that you can unlock. I think it has potential. I just would never spend money on this game because there is a VIP system in case you guys were wondering. Here it is, the thing that I was waiting for. Here's like the VIP section. You can unlock like the VIP one like relatively easily, but just know like when a system like this exists, I just don't think it's like highly recommended to play the game, but I found it eventually. They hit it very well. So let's go ahead and do some summons. Let's do like the contract summons first, like this one. So we're going to summon 10, see if we get anything good. Can we get a UR here? that would be really nice yes one more time all right no so this is actually pretty lucky that we got a gold on this one. Ooh, izanami is actually really good so that is pretty pog hercules is actually not that great so that's a little sad but he is going to be an ssr hero so that is pretty cool as well all right we did our summons right here we can get a little bit more cool stuff right here so go ahead and claim those some little chesties right there and i'm not going to change it because i like getting dupes of Iden or Iden. i don't know how to say her name but let's go ahead and summon see if we get lucifer or artemis i am happy with both because they are pretty amazing can we get a no we are shafted with the just purples man that kind of sucks oh well i guess that's the way the game wants to treat me i don't know if i want to play this game like anymore like let me know down in the comments i think it's kind of interesting because it's a very casual game but at the end of the day like i don't like the fact that i feel like i have to like spend money in order to like, progress within the game i feel like that's sort of cheap in some ways but that's just me i I like this game though. I like the presentation. I think it's cool, but I don't recommend anyone ever spending money on this. It's just a nice way to play an AFK game in case like you wanted something different from AFK Arena. So in that regard, I think it's definitely a fun try, but those are my thoughts at the end of the day. All like this beginner guides, the codes, you know, all this information available in case you guys want to check it out. Anyways, if you made it this far in today's video, consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. Hopefully you learned a couple of things, checking everything out. Make sure to claim all this stuff this game is okay but anyways i'll see you guys in the next one and have yourself a fantastic day